Okay, good morning. I don't know if this will show, but the chicks are now officially four months old, and you just miss the rooster crowing. I, I wish I'd had it on just a few minutes earlier. I wish he'd crow again. Come on, cock-a-doodle-doo, he's not, so I'm going to let him out. Okay, there they come. Okay, there he is. There's my Cocoa Puff. This one is Zippity, that one is Duda. And there is Rhoda. And they've come out. And I hope you can tell that they've gotten bigger. And they should actually, or could, start laying within before they're five months old now lots of times chickens are even six months old when they start but uh, these are supposed to be moderately early at laying and I'm putting my money on Rhoda uh, there on Rhoda uh, because if you notice well I don't know if you can notice in this light but see her comb? She has more of a pronounced little comb. Well, as that gets bigger, she, uh, she'll be the one to lay. And then uh, I think it might be, I'm putting my money on Cocoa Puff for number two. And then I don't know about Zippity Doodah, which of those. They, they look about the same cone length to me, so I don't know. Now, I would say on the rooster, I have seen him crow, and he does crow, mainly in his house, but once in a while, even outside. And I know uh, Cindy made a remark about not liking to eat fertilized eggs. Well, fortunately, you don't see the difference. I know some people think that little, uh, uh, Oh, little thick albumin next to the yolk might be because they're fertilized. But that's just a natural part of the egg. It has nothing to do with fertilization. Some people would say, oh, there's a little fleck of blood. Well, that also has nothing to do with fertilization. That's just something that happened. And remember, we eat steaks and hamburger all the time that have little pieces of blood in them. And... Um, but we cook them, and so do we the eggs. There's just one one fleck of blood I've seen in our older hens that are laying that have been laying this last year. One time there was a, a little fleck of blood in one of their eggs. I don't know what happened, why that did it. I'm not sure. Oh, there they go. See, they're going to go out there. So I might as well open the pen now because they're going to fly over, and. And once in a while, I can, wait just a minute. Okay, you, yeah, see how much they fly? They're just flyers. Anyway, uh, when they're first fertilized, you can't tell. Of course, if you let them sit a while, you'll get a chick in them, and then you can tell. But uh, they probably won't ever have chicks because the hen has to go broody to do it. And broody means she wants to sit on eggs. It's a three-week co commitment, and uh, it's pretty much been bred out of them. <laughs> now, what, one night, I think it was this one, I was standing in here, and it flew clear up onto my back. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. And then uh, once in a while, I can touch Cocoa Puff. Actually, Minnie and Cocoa Puff are the very tamest. And uh, at night when I put them in, I try to touch, oh, at least three of them because I can't reach all uh, five of them the way the house is. But I can. there's another door to that house, and I can reach it through the bigger door. I can reach them and sort of touch them. And then in the evening, I feed them their little treat out of a bowl. 
and Coco Puff and Minnie eat right out of the bowl. The others just get the leftovers that sort of bounce out of the bowl when the, these two pick on it. So that's, that's them now at officially four months old. So there they are.